Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you again so much for watching. Today is going to be a favorites video. It is October favorites, which is like absolutely insane. All right, the first thing I wanna talk about is this. It's a little dirty, but it is my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This stuff has been so good to me. This is the loose finishing powder. I've tried a lot of different loose powders in my makeup lifetime and this powder, I've never found one that doesn't crease under my eyes. I'm wearing it today as I do most days and it just looks flawless underneath the eyes. I have it in the shade, what is this shade? Fair, which I think is the lightest shade they have of course. It's such a finely milled powder and it just blends into the under eyes so nicely. I use it in combination with my Tarte Shape Tape. It's not moisturizing, it's just it keeps in the hydration of your under eyes so it doesn't like crease and cake up under there. It's really brightening, so there is like a little bit of color to it which I actually really like. I like brightening light powders underneath the eyes and then the highlighted areas. So I've really been loving this powder all month. I basically just use any sort of powder, velour powder puff or something, I recommend it because the price point for what you're getting and you get a lot of product, it is. Next is this blush that is um, in shambles. This uh, obviously did not come like this, but the lid kept popping off. So I just was like, whatever and threw it out. So it's just like this for now. Um, this is the Mellow Cosmetics Face Blush in the color bronze. So it's a very bronzy, very peachy blush that I absolutely adore. It's creamy, it's blendable, it's not too pigmented, but you also don't have to build it up over a hundred layers. It just comes on nicely and you're able to blend it out or mute it if you put too much on. It's just really nice. It's a very nice warm shade. As far as like the winter months coming up, you know, November and December, I don't know how often I'm going to be reaching for this. I really like the whole rosy cheek look in the winter time, but in October, I was loving this. I've been loving this for the past several months. I don't think I've done a favorites video in a few months, so this is kind of accumulated as part of that as well. Okay, this mascara is kind of funny. Um, I bought this... I think I bought this like back in January. So it's been like 10 months I've had this. This is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. When I first tried this, I got it because a lot of people in their yearly favorites was shouting this mascara out, saying that this was their favorite mascara of 2016. Tried it out and absolutely hated it. I didn't feel like it did anything at all with helping my lashes lift them or volumize them or anything. I felt like, if anything, it was weighing them down a lot. And I don't know what it is, Several months later, nine, ten months later, I was like, you know what? I have this in here. I'm not sure if it's expired, which it's not. It's, I mean, it's like still really nice and saturated and uh, it's not dry at all, which really says good things because I hate, I cannot stand when you get a mascara and like a month later, it's like dried up. So that's definitely a plus for me that it's lasted this long. I don't know what it is. I tried it out again and I was like, what the hell? Like this is, I remember distinctly distinctly hating it not not hating it disliking it a lot and then I tried it out again like in September and I was like what in the world like I've been using this every single day you guys this is pretty much giving the benefit their real mascara a run for its money that's been like my favorite like higher end mascara for a long time so I look at like the before and after like I'll do one and then I'll kind of compare and it just lifts the lashes it makes them nice and black <laughs> too many good things to say about this mascara and I am glad that I tried it again sometimes you have to do that with products you have to be like wait a second why did I not like that if I keep them around for long enough I'll try them again most of the time they still disappoint but every now and then you'll find a gem that you didn't like at one point that you started to like again and I really really like this mascara it's expensive but it's really good all right another favorite of mine this past month or two actually the pixie hydrating milky mist that has hyaluronic acid and black oak this stuff is 
so good. It smells amazing. It's super hydrating. I use it, I can use it before my makeup, after my makeup, just in general, just spray it throughout the day. And there's just something about the mister on this too. It just feels so nice. Who can say where the road goes, where the day... Oh my goodness. The next thing I've been living for in the month of October has been this. This is the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss, which I'm wearing currently right now. And I had a little sampler of Hot Toddy I was using, which I really, really like that lip gloss as well. But I asked the lady in Ulta, which she recommended Hot Toddy or White Russian for the upcoming like fall and winter. Because the Hot Toddy is a little bit more of like a pinky red base. Whereas this is like a really really nudie pink. Uh, she said this one was really good for like the winter months Just because it is so like kind of like snowy looking it's got a little bit of like a peachy pink undertone to it And I just have absolutely been wearing it non-stop. It's just it's great. I love it all right, and last but not least, I have another lip product. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Perla. This has been my go-to, my absolute favorite liquid lipstick. I love the formulation of it. It is spot on. It doesn't dry my lips out. I can layer up if some of it comes off due to eating and just hours of wear. A lot of times when I try and double layer the liquid lipstick on again, it can kind of clump up on me. It tends to get super kind of flaky there might be like a color discoloration. But this, I love it because I can wear it, that happens, I overlay it. No matter how many layers I put on, it stays just as nice and smooth and uniform and there's no like clumping or flaking of any kind. It's such a beautiful like dusty rose color and I'm obsessed with dusty rose. That's my bridesmaid's color. I don't know what my lash is doing today, you guys. It is playing me. Another great thing about this too, it grabs a lot of product. Like when you first take the doe foot out and start applying it, it grabs a lot in the way that it allows you to fully coat your bottom and your top lip all the way across. You don't have to keep dipping in to get more. The scent is so nice. So yeah, I highly recommend you checking these Stila liquid lipsticks out. All right, that wraps up my October favorites video. So this month's giveaway is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. Obviously, I'm going to get you guys a whole new bottle. It's going to be brand new, never used. And basically, all you have to do to enter into the giveaway is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment down below that you would like this giveaway. And also, like me on Instagram. I do have more giveaways coming up for my Instagram followers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a fantastic month of November and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.